Uh, Denki? Denki down! Uh, I don't think he's down quite yet. Oh, he's very down now. <laughs> I'm the CEO. It's Mega Chop, Mega Chop. You already know. Welcome back, y'all. This is the first video that I'm doing about Shigaraki. This is community requested. Ratji, Patabas, they have been encouraging me to play more Shiggy uh, and giving me a lot of incredible tips. Uh, I'm going to have, I know Ratji creates content on TikTok. I'll have his link down below. Uh, but let's get right into this. I go hard into Dobby. I see that I break him, so I know that this is the opportunity for me to take him out of the picture for my team. Uh, I know that my team is handling some of his other teammates right now, and I don't make the greatest choice by hard pushing him because he's got better range to hit me than I have range to hit him. But we'll see how this pans out. I saw his trap there. I avoided it. I knew if I hit that trap, I'm down or close to being down. Here we go. I dodge the last attack that probably would have downed me. And right here, I make a poor choice. I stand too close to Dobby. I knew I wasn't going to try and finish him. I forgot that his special action was that large. So uh, he ends up taking me down. I'm telling my teammates, hey, he's here. Please finish him first because I knew he went down before me. So his timer would, he would get up before. Uh, and I knew it was better for my team that we just finish him and let's move on. I didn't care if I got the cards, but I've got great teammates here. These these are people in my community, uh, Polite Raptor and Lil Cool, uh, great people to roll with. So I skipped some stuff that was more looting here. Ida pops right in with a beta. I, I get a little nervous with Shiggy and Ida interactions, but I am an Ida main, so I know if I can keep the ground around me toxic to him, he's not dropping down on me. My boy Lil Cool switches into Ida and chases after him. So we go through some time here, and boom, we got a few people mixing it up right in UA. Uh, I, I quickly knock them down with my alphas. My alphas are maxed, and they do crazy damage. You have to respect Shiggy's alphas. Look at how big of a range that covers. Uh, keep in mind, uh, I am new playing Shiggy, so uh, there are definitely some things that I'm going to pick out that I could have done differently or done better, uh, and hopefully that helps you in your Shiggy gameplay as well, because ultimately I'm making these videos because... My Hero Ultra Rumble is freaking awesome. It's so much fun to play. And I'm trying to learn myself and help others learn more too. Here, I thought I had the Denki down, as you saw in the opener, uh, with the grab. Clearly, I didn't, but we still got the down. Thankfully, he didn't jump and uh, beta, because uh, if he did that, my alphas would have done nothing to him. So that would have been his way to play a little bit better. Uh, the Midoriya comes in trying to sneak his card. Nah, not happening. My boy Polite Raptor's ready with Dobby to take him down. I get the finish. And uh, here's you're going to see some great in-storm gameplay during this match. Little green pots are amazing to make sure that your health starts going in the right direction. Full green pots obviously are... are going to get you the full health but keep in mind they take longer so usually if you're in the storm you want to start with a small green pot here i thought somebody was around uh i don't have great success with a couple of the betas in this area by the buildings but if i hear people that i think are on top of the building that's around me i'm going to drop the beta because his shiggy's beta on this map is way op and it goes all the way to the top of the buildings it's absolutely wild so uh, here I get a great grab on Cementos and he pillars up. I use my alpha knowing that it's going to destroy the pillar. I'm hoping that if he jumped to the building that my beta was going to catch him, but I didn't realize it wasn't quite going to hit to the top. So he made it away from it, but that's okay. Uh, you see, I'm full healing my team here. Uh, by the way, side note, I fixed my overlays. So in future videos after the next few drops, any of my live streams, you're going to be able to see the health bars and everything else on the screen that matters. KOs, damage, the whole nine yards. So we're going to have that fixed. Um, but here, we end up getting in the mix. 
uh, and, and we're getting pretty close to a unique play that I make in the storm here for my team as well. Um, you see there, uh, I tried baiting again. I knew Cementos was around. I thought he was up top. Uh, your special action on Shiggy is amazing. It nukes a pillar, even a level nine pillar with one shot. Uh, so that is a huge opportunity to outplay Cementos. So, you know, if he's getting low on his alpha, bam. You can special action a pillar, nuke the pillar, and drop him off of it. Uh, here, I really keep my ground effects going because I know that that is my best chance at getting uh, Cementos down off of his builds so that I can have a chance to damage him. Here, I was in big danger. You can see my screen goes red. That means I'm low health. And I knew I needed to beta around me so that I had an opportunity to heal. So... Keep in mind, um, Patabas in my community made sure that I knew that Shiggy really is great both offensively and defensively. So especially early game, a tip that I was given is Shiggy is a little bit more defensive, uh, team reliant. Later game, he is much more the aggressor. Once you get your alpha to level 9, he becomes far more aggressive. And then once you get beta to level 9, it's just full send. Your, your team can follow you around while you start nuking people. Uh, and you'll see I get a little bit happy because of the damage at points where I just start spamming the alpha a little bit more than I should. Uh, but when you play Shiggy and you start to get to that end game and you're getting in good damage, it, it's hard not to. So here I, I try and save the the down on my teammate, but unfortunately that barrier was in the way and I just couldn't move fast enough to drop my alpha to save him. Uh, I pushed that other team like I wasn't trying to save my teammate uh, because I wanted to put enough space between me and them that if they're smart players, if they're familiar with uh, the gas plays, I didn't want them to be prepared to come and attack me right away. So I wanted to push them away and give some space. You're going to see I use small uh, health pots. I use the green heal cards that I have. And I use that as a way to heal up. And then once I'm at full green health, I start the revive on my teammate. Usually you want to be at full green health before you revive in the storm. Early storms may not be as critical to be full health, uh, but safest is definitely full health. So I saved another green card to help my teammate once they got back up that they would have a chance to heal. I made sure that there were small uh, green health pots and big green health pots there for them uh, so that they would be able to heal up and get back out of the storm and, and back into the game. So this took a little bit longer than I wanted, but you're better safe than sorry. It feels terrible if you go for this gas play and then you make a simple mistake and <laughs> you're just done. So here, the beautiful part on this map, the new map, is you can hide in the water a bit. Shiggy, not so well. He's a bit tall even when he crouches. My Dobby was completely hidden. Uh, so I get back up to full health, and I jump right back into this. And we got that darn cement toss still in here, but we finished the Eda. We have two teams to worry about. I know for sure there's a cement toss in the mix. Here I see the Kiri. I'm like, you know, I, I can't have a Kirishima and a cement toss messing around. So... I really laid a lot of damage there. The Kiri goes down. Here is, uh, I think, yeah, that's Deku. Uh, so we're down to the last team. It's officially Deku and Cementos. I got stuck in the build there, so I used my special action. That way I could get out of it. But this Deku, this Cementos are an absolute pain in the final of this game uh, because... They last to the bitter end. Cementos has his revive, of course. Uh, Deku has his ability to pick up a downed opponent and run a tiny amount with them, just a very short distance, and drop them, and, and they're revived again. So they have a lot of uh, abilities here to last them. But you can see that I'm sitting on plus chaos. Uh, I'm waiting to use that at just the right time. And... Cementos here with all the trees being shiggy was very difficult for me to try and track and figure out where he was. Uh, I kept 
trying to figure it out, but every time I thought I knew where he was, he moved to another spot. So there I knew I was in some danger if I didn't use plus chaos. Uh, I kind of thought plus chaos we would have finished here, uh, but the Deku did go down, but you can see um, the Cementos ended up getting him picked back up. So now we're down to just Cementos. I've got uh, my two teammates still up. So I'm like, okay, this has got to come to a close soon. Like, we, it shouldn't be too crazy. Although my teammates are pretty beat up, um, you can't see it. I apologize for that. But um, they are low at this point. Uh, one of them goes down here or is about to go down. Um, but uh, I don't know if they had a chance to get away and heal. Uh, but this is a great call out for anybody when you're in a final circle like this even if it's a 1v3 don't sleep on healing so both my teammates had gone down at this point there is a chance uh, that they could have had some mobility that maybe they sneak away and heal themselves but uh, they didn't again I don't know if they could have uh, so here I knew for sure I need to heal because Cementos has been a pain he's a bit challenging for me to deal with really so here I'm like okay let's go uh, I, I really feel like I had a chance and then I see this ramp and I'm like wait Deku is down why am I seeing a Deku ramp because he's already down well Cementos in the time that I heal got his boy revived so I'm in a 1v2 now is Shiggy against two players who have much more mobility than I do this is not a great spot for me so I'm zigzagging I'm trying to break camera angles as best I can as Shiggy to make sure that they don't have a clear line of sight to me to try and throw them off as much as I can because they're generally going to have a better perspective here I'm like okay I need to break uh, him down hopefully get some damage and heal but I see the Deku pushing in so I've got to drop some damage on him that way I can give myself some space thankfully uh, I've been able to handle the Deku pretty well but here I have no shields my health is getting lower so I know if I don't get this shield if they hit me here game over but thankfully they don't so I get a lucky grab on Cementos chuck him into the storm Get him uh, the Deku down, actually. You can see the cement toss was still there. But uh, I think he ended up... Yeah, he got the Deku back up with that darn special action. So I'm like, okay, you're in my territory. I'm full baiting here. Uh, he's doing a good job hitting me and punting me back into the storm, which is not great for my circumstances. But here you will see that I knock him. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm better. Woo, let's go. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Yo, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to keep dropping all different character videos. Please, if you get a chance, smack that like hit the subscribe and stay tuned for future content. I'm really excited to see what characters you want me to play in the future. Drop those in the comments and I can guarantee you I will be making those videos. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.